Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. We like to think that technology now is better than it ever was, but there were advanced technologies that existed, which we find amusing were created by ancient humans. But with countless wars and no documentation in the modern language, we lost a lot of knowledge about the previous civilizations. While we have understood and analyzed a lot of technology invented by our ancestors, many of it still remains a mystery to us. Here are 15 pieces of ancient technology that we still don't understand. Number 15. Nimrod Lens The Nimrod Lens is a 3,000-year-old object that could rewrite the history of science. Nimrod Lens was found in the palace of Nimrod, Iraq by Sir John Layard in 1850. It is said to be made during 750 to 710 BC. It is possible that ancient Assyrian astronomers used the so-called Nimrod lens that allowed them to watch the skies. The lens is slightly oval and roughly ground on a lapidary wheel. It is believed that the ancient Assyrians considered Saturn a god, surrounded by a ring of serpents. This in turn proves that Galileo wasn't the first person to create a telescope. Number 14. Archimedes' Heat Ray Weapons Heat Ray Weapon was a war weapon made by Greek mathematician Archimedes. It was made of bronze and would reflect sun rays in a destructive manner. With this weapon, it became possible to burn the entire Persian fleet in one go. Archimedes' weapon motivated the Mythbusters of Discovery Channel to replicate it in 2004. They were unsuccessful in their attempts and declared it a myth. In 2005, MIT students were successful in recreating the heat ray weapon and combusted a 2,200-year-old replica in San Francisco Harbor. In 2001, Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, unveiled a heat ray weapon which used microwave rays to penetrate the victim's skin, heating it to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 13. Greek Fire Perhaps the most famous of all lost technologies is what is known as Greek fire, an incendiary weapon that was used by the military of the Byzantine Empire in the 11th century to help Constantine against Arab invaders. The chemical contents of the Greek fire are yet to be discovered. However, a modern theory proposes the Greek fire to be made of petroleum, quicklime, nitre, and sulfur. The Greek fire was sticky and would even burn on water much like wildfire in the Game of Thrones. It could only be extinguished by using a mixture of vinegar, sand, and urine. The Byzantines were secretive of this technology, and it died along with the empire. Number 12. Telharmonium Often recognized as the world's first electronic musical instrument, the Telharmonium was a large, organ-like device that used tone wheels to create synthetic musical notes that were then transmitted by wires to a series of loudspeakers. The Telharmonium was developed by the inventor Thaddeus Cahill in 1897, and at the time it was one of the biggest instruments ever built. Cahill would eventually construct three versions of it, one which was said to weigh some 200 tons and take up enough space to fill an entire room. Its setup consisted of a collection of keyboards and foot pedals, which the user could manipulate to reproduce the sounds of other instruments, particularly woodwinds like flutes, bassoons, and clarinets. After its initial success, Cahill had big plans for Telharmonium. Sadly, the device was too modern for its time, consumed a humongous amount of energy which the early power grids couldn't handle, and cost a whopping $200,000. Number 11. Nepenthe. An antidepressant drug, Nepenthe was said to be a drug of forgetfulness in ancient Greek literature. It is also frequently mentioned in Homer's Odyssey as well. While it originated in Egypt, the Greeks would eventually treat the bereaved with this drug. Some argue that the drug is purely an art of fiction, but some feel otherwise. Because of its antidepressant properties, it is compared to opium. This is one technology which is probably still around today, but researchers are unable to pinpoint it. Some researchers feel it can either be opium, wormwood extract, or scopolamine. Number 10. Vitrum Flexile – Flexible Roman Glass Vitrum Flexile was created during the reign of Roman Emperor Tiberius Caesar. It was invented by Petronius in 63 AD, who presented the vessel to Caesar and asked him to hand it back to him. When Petronius threw it on the floor, it didn't break, but only dented. The inventor then molded it back into its original shape. 
Not recognizing the genius, Caesar beheaded the inventor, fearing devaluation of precious metals. Another version of the story, told by Dio Cassius, portrayed the inventor as a magician. When the vessel was thrown on the floor, it shattered, and the inventor fixed it with his bare hands. A company named Corning introduced a flexible glass similar to Petronius's in 2012. Number 9. Stradivari Violins One of the most famous lost technologies is the process of making Stradivari violins. The violins, along with other musical instruments like violas, cellos, and guitars, were made by the Stradivari family of Italy between 1650 and 1750. The Stradivari violins are a prized possession today and cost over $100,000. Only 600 of them still remain as of today. The technique to build the Stradivari violins was a family secret and only known by Antonio Stradivari and his sons, Omobono and Francesco. The secret died with them. After studying the violin, researchers have established a hypothesis claiming that it is the density of a particular wood that produces the unique sound and resonance, but no one knows for sure. Number 8. Antikythera Mechanism the Antikythera mechanism is an unusual artifact that has intrigued archaeologists, classicists, historian, and the public for decades. This ancient Greek device is used to track the movements of the sun, the moon, and the planets to predict celestial events and for other astrological purposes. It was found in the 1990s by divers around the coast of the island of Antikythera. Scientists believe that this device belongs to the 1st or 2nd century BC. The device's purpose is not fully understood, but its construction has puzzled scientists over the years. It is often referred to as an analog computer because of its ability to calculate solar years and lunar phases. Number 7. Roman Concrete Roman concrete was used for construction during the late Roman Republic until the fall of the Roman Empire. The modern cement used today has a life of 80 years, but Roman concrete seems ageless. Famous Roman structures such as the Pantheon, the Colosseum, the Aqueducts, and the Roman Baths still stand proud today. While researchers were able to find the secret ingredient in Roman concrete, which is volcanic ash, the process of creating it is still unclear. The biggest problem being it takes much longer to dry as compared to the modern cement. Number 6. Damascus Steel Used in the Middle East around 1100 to 1700 AD, the Damascus steel was a very strong metal. It was mostly used to make knives and swords. It is known to cut rocks and other metals, especially swords of softer metals, cleanly into half. It is believed to be made of wood steel found in Sri Lanka and India. Swords from Damascus steel were made by combining soft iron and cementite. The technique was lost around 1750 AD. It was probably because the smiths who made the swords didn't have a specific recipe to create them and just went with their instincts. Number 5. Lysurgis Cup The Lysurgis Cup is a glass chalice made with dichroic glass which would change colors depending on the light passing through it. This fascinating art piece reveals the knowledge ancient people had about nanotechnology. The cup portrays the defeat of Emperor Licinius by Constantine in 308 to 324 AD. When light passes through the cup, it changes color from opaque green to a fiery translucent red. The cup contains colloidal gold and silver, giving it these unusual optical properties. A research team from University of Illinois is trying to build a more sophisticated structure based on the science applied to make the Lysurgis cup. Number 4. Viking Compass A mysterious sunstone is mentioned in the Norse sagas which showed sailors the path when the sun went down. The Viking Compass had the accuracy of today's GPS. Until now, it was considered to be a myth, but researchers have recently discovered a special crystal which proves the Viking Compass theory to be true. The crystal was first discovered in a sunken Elizabethan ship in 1592 near the Channel Island between England and France. With the help of this stone, the Vikings successfully navigated from the North Atlantic to the New World and even further. By the way, GPS wasn't invented till the Second World War. Number 3. Metal Plating in Kutub Minar Complex An art of ancient craftsmanship, the metal plating on the iron pillar that stands in the Kutub Minar Complex in Delhi, India is rust-free. 
The iron pillar was made during the Gupta dynasty in 4th century AD. It weighs 6.5 tons and is roughly a few hundred centimeters from ground and has a smooth surface at eye level. Researchers believe that it is the high amount of phosphorus in the iron used to keep this ancient metal from rusting. Number 2. Construction of the Pyramids in Giza The Pyramids of Giza have fascinated people for ages. The Great Pyramid, built in 2550 BC, is thought to be the largest structure created by mankind. Scientists have revealed that it took around 20 years to build the Great Pyramid. Despite all the research done, scientists are still unclear how the pyramids were built. Some believe that the pyramids were made by a much more advanced civilization 4,500 years ago. The pyramid is made using 2.5 million rocks, each weighing 2.5 to 15 tons. With the lack of resources, it would have been impossible to lift them just using wood ramps, so it was probably done manually. Number 1. Molten Rocks of Saxe Huamana Saxe Huamana is located in the city of Cusco, Peru. The stones in the zigzag patterned wall are so heavy that even modern machinery cannot move them, as each one of them weighs 140 metric tons. According to researchers, the granite wall shows evidence of exposure to high temperatures, making the outside surface glossy and smooth. The builder had some advanced tech device which would melt stone, place, and allow them to cool and harden. The wall is so compact that grass or steel cannot slide between two boulders. The mortar is used to join the stones, and that is why the rocks still remain a mystery. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.